You guys, this is too funny. Um, this, I promise you, is going to be a waste of time. <laughs> the reason I even had the paper you just saw is because I'm kind of cleaning up my craft room and oh, after all the different reviews and stuff, it got really messy in here. Um, but I found these things. <laughs> That, and it's not that I found them. Honestly, I have them in a place where you would think, oh, she must use those all the time because they're literally like just within hand's reach and I can use them if I want to. I never use these things. So usually, you know, I, I tell you guys that uh, whatever links I might have in the description box it might be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those, through those links. There is no way you're going to find these things, I guarantee. <laughs> so it'll be for other items, you know, like the regular stuff I usually keep that I use here. But, um... Do you guys remember these things? <laughs> Scrapparatus. <laughs> I always didn't even remember the name of it. When I saw it, I thought, oh, that's a fun busted out. So this is busted out, of course. It's Wednesday. And um, and then I was like, oh, that, but I think that box that's next to it is kind of similar. So this is, again, I don't know what this is called. I'll find it out by the time I put a title in this video. But it's a Karen Foster design. I was going to say Karen Berniston, but that's too new. This is Karen Foster. This is from probably 15, maybe 20 years ago. The Scrapparatus was kind of a newer thing. It, they're similar in that they make holes and they make like embossed things. So we'll talk about it in a second. But this, oh, this is also Karen Foster. See? I was say, I know they had something to do with each other. Uh, die cutter, hole puncher, eyelet setter, best friend, you guys. Scrapper's best friend. So let's see why it's a Scrapper's best friend. I mean, this is why I can't get rid of it. Look how cute. I mean, it's weighty. Oh, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> I, I, I just remember making holes with it. Um... See all these little bits? You can make all these little balloon, little oval tag, like the smallest tag in the world. How cute is that, though, actually? You know what? I Yeah. Look, I used the square one. There's still a piece of paper in there. Ancient piece of paper. Um, uh, oh, this little tag. Oh, my gosh, you guys. The little star. Um, flower. And I don't even know if this was sold as one set. Look, a little, another little tag, a buckle. Uh, a couple little buckles, a little button puzzle piece, a little quote, or bubble, thought bubble, and a saying bubble, whatever, speech bubble. Um, if you had to buy these separately and then I put them on here, or if I bought this at one time, or I, it might have come in here, it looks like maybe it was, I have no idea. I just have this set, and then like on the back it says, see more at scrapperatus.com. Scrapperatus starter set includes two dinky dies, a marble base, and stamp pad. Oh, well, that's not what, yeah, so I must have bought these separately. Very interesting. <laughs> so let's talk about what this thing is. And like I said, it's probably just a colossal waste of time unless you have one and want to remember how to use it. But, oh, check that out. There's that marble base. Hey. That was, uh, kind of looks like my countertop, but it does not at all, actually. It's just marble. Um, so we have this thing. I thought it squeezed. Doesn't it squeeze down? Or you just hit it? I don't know. But see how it has this big metal piece? Okay. So that's one of the... Oh, that's what it is. That's what it... Okay. I just haven't used this in forever. I think, this is stuck back here, let me pop this out completely. Come on. Alright, there we go. This piece right here helps you die cut, so you might wonder like what's going on. These little guys have to fit under this and you smack it and that's how you cut into your paper. Oh, look, here's that little tag. I made it and never used it. I probably reviewed this and then just didn't even go back to it. This looks like, looks like what happened. But that little tag is actually very adorable for like, again, journals, hidden altar paper clips, put it on a card, you know, mixed media stuff. So this guy makes a hole, as you can see. This one makes a larger hole, but they're very small, which is nice. So it's basically like a precursor to, you know, your, um, crocodile. Where is my crocodile? The pink one. That's interesting. Okay, anyway. And then this sets eyelets. So that's interesting. It looks like I used this one. I mean, it looks kind of like something was going on with that one. Um... And this one has like little, I don't know, so eyelets and ring, you know, those kind of things. But like, why does this one have these little holes? I have no idea. Okay, well, let's get down to it. So now we have that piece of marble. Very nice. I use that for something else. I don't know what. Um, we have, oh, look, it looks like I cut several things. It looks like um, this is the cutting pad, which is basically just like the Sizzix stuff. What is going on there? That's weird. Um, the Sizzix um, cutting pad for like the very original Sizzix um, uh, die cutting machine, <laughs> which I also have. That's what I should bust out. You guys will laugh at that one because let's like get to squeeze it and then move it and then squeeze it down. It's like a lever, um, and you have to do your own thing, like move it along as you go. Look, it looks like I cut several of these. Okay, I tried it. I tried it. I don't know why I kept them in there. And anyway, yeah. So this original set came with these things: a stomper. Read all instructions before using scrap bass. That's right. 
it goes boom. All right. <laughs> to punch holes, set eyelets, and cut dies, insert the desired tip into the magnetic hole. Place tip on your project and hold the tool firmly by grasping the handle with one hand. For optimum performance, make sure scrap is completely vertical and not tipped at an angle. With the other hand, pull up the tool's silver colored knob, releasing quick so it falls back into place. The knob does not need to extend its entire length to operate correctly. What do you put it on? Okay, this is, always use the clear stomp pad on top of the stone <laughs> as your scrap apparatus work surface. Damage may occur if it's used without the pad and stone. And turn the pad periodically to prevent warping. Okay. So, we're just going to play with this. I was going, so again, it's magnetic. You put this in here. It's on there. That's actually a pretty good magnet. That's sturdy. Okay. And when you go boom, <laughs> it hits it. Right. So, Let's try to make a little hole. This is kind of the thing I was talking about whenever I say like when we make our traveler's notebooks and you don't have one for like that middle part, you know, to make a hole in the very center that maybe you can make it with an awl or like one of these kind of tools. Um, I know I have one also from Martha Stewart um, that you just squish. I think it's kind of like one of those drill kind of things where when you pr press it, it just goes and it helps you drill down in. But let's see. Um, okay. So piece of marble. <laughs> we have that plastic piece. We have this guy. And so you would put all these things under your project and let's say we're gonna make a hole. Okay guys, I don't know how loud this is but oh gosh, I'm gonna pick it up. That is so scary but look at that. It didn't even feel like it did anything. That's what's crazy. Now how do you get rid of that little piece? I don't know. I guess I'll pick it out. <laughs> yeah. I mean I should keep this around. I think the reason I don't use it often is because it's videos and like I'm gonna go Gah! <laughs> like this big old loud noise. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, pretty cool. Okay, well let's see. Um, next thing. I think the next thing we care about really is die cutting. So let's get one of these little guys out. I have pretty much my ephemera swap stuff done, but that'd be fun to include a bunch of little cute tags, wouldn't it? Or something. Some of these little guys. Let's do this ah <laughs> I pinched my skin let's do this circular tag so we have our paper we have that I'm putting it right on there oh gosh again I'm just gonna hold it down and pull up so scary see that did not work okay I'm gonna stand up actually I'm gonna get a smaller piece of paper because I feel like the paper is coming off of that thing oh and that's the other thing this is some thick pearlescent paper so the other papers that I cut before clearly were like very thin little papers. So again, straight up and down. I'm going to hold it a little firmer. See what happens. Nope. Almost. Almost. Hmm. Let's do this again. A different area. And I'm going to hold it more firmly. And I guess I don't really care about that other circular part. I just really need to get it on the die. Nope, it keeps missing that same section. You see that? Or I don't know if it's the same. Well, it feels like it's the same section. Okay, let's not use that. Let's go with a thinner paper. This one's a little bit thinner, but it's still pretty good cardstock, so we'll see. I might just ruin this cardstock, is all. Ugh, come on. <laughs> This, maybe this is why, but I did use it several times before. Let's see. try it again before I move it. Oh, I can see it needs more like over here. Ooh, okay, it's not moving and it's still there. So maybe I can at least try it again and again. That looks like it cut. Okay, well, there you go. Aww. So I guess I just had to try a little bit more, right? Let's see that one there. Let's try that pearlescent paper again. And this time try not to let it move. And just try to hit it a few times. My son's sleeping. He's probably like, what is going on? Okay. Now, can you just run this through your marquee once? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I think for me it's the hole punching. Look how cute though. Aww. Dare I try to run it through uh, the marquee? I don't see the reason, but it would be to make it faster, right? I mean, it's pretty thin metal. Actually, it feels like it's even thinner metal than other thin metal dies. So let's try it. Since we have these tiny little dies anyway. 
These are the kind of things people, when they came out, we were like, woo, gotta get my hands on that. <laughs> Honestly, I need to look it up. It has to be at least 15 or 16 years old. Scrapparatus. Look at it. Oh, it worked really well. It actually didn't even feel like anything was happening. Like, it went through so easily. It's just like, aww. How cute. Well, then I'll definitely use these to make a whole bunch of little tags and maybe put them in my swaps because they're super cute. Um, yeah. Again, this has nothing to do with anything. I'm not going to... They're so tiny. I mean, for a card, it'd be cute to put like a little accent, you know, oh, a little birthday hat or whatever, a little balloon, you know. But the tags are what's going to get me to use this. Look at the little flower. Oh, we used to make little flowers like this all the time. Um, and then scrunch them up with a little water and you make a little form flower. Um, those are cute. Little belt buckle. Okay, let me see what's up with this other thing. I think this other thing is basically the same thing, just... I think it was an iteration before this. Yeah, so those two little dies were tucked in here. So I must have bought those, like, ooh, <laughs> separately. Honestly, I think this thing gave me a headache <laughs> from hitting it. <laughs> My head's starting to hurt. Okay, let's check this out. This is, uh, oh, this one's a little bit different. This is the embossing thing, and I don't know if you can mix and match them, but um, as I'm opening this, I can feel on the bottom something else was sliding around, so there's some stuff down here. Look at that. Nice wood construction. Oh, this is the Click It. There it is. There's the name, guys. <laughs> Click It Instruction Booklet. Nice quality. I mean, look at that. Feel that? So nice. It comes with um, eyelets. Uh, it makes two holes at once, or all these little holes, or C, D, E, R, the, probably the split back eyelet setter, round over eyelet setter, and a piercing tool. Okay. Oh, and this one works kind of like the uh, Martha Stewart one that I was mentioning, where you kind of push it down and it goes, Root. and they're telling you here, maybe what you want to do is make like little buttons, maybe you want to do some, make some holes and do some um, embroidering. <laughs> and here's the pad that we would do that on, I believe. And this is the embossing pad. This is very interesting. It's squishy on one side and it's harder on the other. I'm assuming you still use this side. I have no idea. Punch and setting pad. Again, this is just like a... What's it called? Like a cutting mat. Uh, like this, self-healing mat. Okay, and check that out. How nicely I put everything back together. <laughs> Either I didn't use it at all or I just... Well, looks like I probably used it at some point. Um, let's see here. I don't want to mess up my nails getting this out. Where? Oh, this is very interesting. It's, look at that. You know, even the wood, I'm telling you, so nice. And again, this is older people, you know, companies maybe took more <laughs> pride in what they're putting out. I don't know. This is really nice. Um, I don't remember at all how to use this. Does this come off? No. Okay. So I guess I'll have to look at the instructions. But we have this. <laughs> which I'll have to figure out. I have no idea what that is. Um, we have this pin. <laughs> this is Karen Foster. Cute. We have our eyelets in primary colors and in um, gold metallic colors. That punch that cuts two things. So see, that does fit there. Okay. And then what? Let me read this one, because this one I honestly don't remember. I thought you just had to push down. Um, basic punching. Work on a solid surface. Place the punch pad under your project. Place the desired tip into the end of the tool and listen for it to snap in place. For best results, stand or sit above your project at a low table that allows your arms to be a 90 degree angle. Press down your click it in a straight vertical position. Use punching tips on paper, metal, leather, or fabric. For best results, clean out the tips frequently. Don't let punch remains in there. And then use a craft needle for cleaning the lacing tip and the 2 millimeter punching tip. Very interesting. This seems weird to me though, because it didn't seem like... Oh yeah! Oh, that one! Oh, that is actually nicer than the other thing. Because it doesn't have that... That's kind of interesting though. I feel like this one came out before the scrap rest. Oh yeah! Okay. Interesting. <laughs> when I pushed on this, uh, these guys went in. So I'm wondering... Nope, that's not going to help. What are those things for? Must be for something. Must be for something. Oh, this is interesting. How do you clean out these holes? Because, um, it just wants to go back in. Hmm. I wonder. 
Does it go all the way through? On the other side, there's little holes. It looks like it's, if you really look in there where the holes end, it's, um, it looks like the hole goes all the way through. So I guess you can push it through and then it falls out this other side, but I just don't have something to do that with right now. All right, well, there's that guy. This is supposedly a piercing tool. So you just want to make like a little hole. Let's see what that's about. Wow. I mean, it makes a messy hole. I don't know why you wouldn't want to just use one of the other ones that does the hole, but, you know, sometimes you have to pierce something, and it pierces very well. <laughs> it went all the way through the plastic. You guys have this? Do you remember this? What are you all doing with them? Oh, that's... You know what? I didn't bring everything. There's another set I have that's um, embossing, because of this embossing pad thing. So, okay. I mean, this thing makes every size hole, which is actually handy because I don't have things that make these other size holes right so that's good to have and then again just that click and there you go see what I'm saying there's a hole back there so I think if you push it all the way through well this one I can grab but those little guys if you push it all the way through it'll come out this back side oh okay well maybe I should think about using this more often because I do have reasons to make these kind of holes let me find I know I have these little heads that are also in like a little wood box they should be in the same area so I will be right back okay so luckily I did find those I'm trying to see I have this scrap paper here they are <laughs> Karen Foster design all cute in the little wood look at I mean look how just I mean it's just a great quality but you know I mean obviously things change and we move on and all that but really nice um, what I'm gonna do with this because it's kind of a weird thing how big is this two inches okay this is almost two inches so what I'm gonna do is cut this and make a tag and then we'll use that little I don't know it's like all occasions set there let me see two inches by three I guess makes a nice size tag I don't know we'll do a couple of them oh Actually, it's two inches. It's a little bit smaller than two inches, so I'm trying to see. Just a little tag. And another one. Oh, you know, it'd be funny if we just make the tag out of this, but then I have to cut my own sides. But I can make a hole, you know, in the tag. If you want to make your own tags. And again, about two inches. These are going to be crooked because I'm just eyeballing this, and the paper is just a scrap paper I literally just found sitting here from whenever I was making videos this last week, weekend. These are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna do a bunch of those, but I'm gonna run them to some marquee. Because <laughs> I think that'll be cute. Put them in a little glassine bag. Okay, so let's try it on one of these guys just so you can see what this pearlescent paper looks like. So as you can see, we have like a bunny rabbit, a Christmas tree, a flag, hearts, the little Halloween, you know it's funny, we have a ghost, we have boo, and we have a pumpkin, but we only have one Christmassy thing, you know? <laughs> and then, uh, three uh, clover cute let's try this bunny and see what happens oh my gosh uh, nothing happens <laughs> oh hello let's see if this makes a difference uh, it's okay now the other side of this is softer so let me try the other side even though Yeah, no, that one bounced. Ooh, this is not good at all. Let's try. Let's go to our project. Try it out on that. Um, I was just going to do something cute and like, let's say we have the word boo. It did say to wait for it to click. There's a little grunt, like a um, ball bearing there, but it doesn't really matter. It just has to hit this area. So, um, and let's not put this upside down. I'm pushing it with my might. Maybe do it again. Nope, that's not good. Ew, this is the worst thing ever. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. You see that? Like, no, mm -mm. no way, Karen. <laughs> I wonder. No, I can't even put it on there. How would I put this on? Wait, does it fit in this? Let's bring this scraparatus back. No, I mean, mm. nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's try another one. Well, this is a dud. And now we know why it didn't super take off. <laughs> yeah, hardly anything. 
and I'm standing up. I mean, maybe like I said, maybe I have to do the 90 degree angle. Let me put it right in front of my, of myself. I was gonna say, but that's not. No way, dude. Ugh. Okay. Well, that one's a dud. Anyway, fun busted out. <laughs> you guys. Um, you know what? While we're here, let's try to set a grommet, which is probably my my worst nightmare because I don't. I, you know, I barely figured out how to do that, like, with my regular um, punches. But let's say it's this, right? Um, oh, what a bummer. You know what? No, let me get... I have another little brown scrap of paper. What do I do with it? Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what I do with it. So I'll take another brown scrap of paper. <laughs> but let's see, this one's cut all wonky. Let me... Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay, we're going to make this into a little tag. And again, you don't really know what you're doing. You're just going to eyeball it. I think this is the size of the hole. Oh my gosh, look how hard it punches. Like, it goes like halfway through this stuff. Um, again, I'm going to push this all the way through, and it comes out the back. That's, well, it can come out the back. I just kind of want to show you guys that. It's, oh yeah, yeah. That's why I said to use a embroidery needle or something to stick it in there. But either way, you just push it out the back. Mine's just not wanting to come out. I want to see if it comes out. Uh, it's just way back, 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 back there. I can't get it out. But it's the other way, so that's all I wanted. Okay. Ooh, this is scary. A grommet setter? How? Oh, you know how? Pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> because let's say we have this. And I'm going to take this gold one. And let's say I'm going to place it here. And these grommets don't have like those little cuts. I know some people like the ones with like little cuts in it because it already wants to open up and do its thing. This is like a firm, firm one. So that's our side. But we're going to turn it over. And what I'm curious of is I'm using this one or am I using this one? So let me read in here what they say as far as that. Does it even say? Basic it says, select the punching hole. Okay, yes, we did that. Punch the hole in your project. Uh, insert your eyelid into the hole with a flat side of the eyelid on the front side, facing up. Of course, we're doing that. Insert either the eyelet rounding tip or the eyelet splitting tip, depending on the size of the eyelet. Use the round over tip for one eighth eyelets and split back on a quarter or larger. That's what I thought. Okay, so this is for a bigger guy. This is for the little guy I'm using right now because it's pretty tiny. All right, let's put this in here. So this is a fun, that's what I told you guys, this is going to be a waste of your time. Um, I forgot to put it on there. And then we go in here. And then we, oh gosh, give it a push. Oh yeah, wonderful. <laughs> it's still, it didn't do anything, I don't know if you can see. So, maybe we have to do it a few times. So let's put that back on there. Again, and again. Alright, so it took about three punches, but you know what? It's really nice and clean. I know I have other punches, even my eyelet setter that I use like on my crocodile, sometimes it just like splits and it looks horrible in the back, but look how, like it just rounded it really nicely actually. Huh. I might be using this, I mean it's such a cute little eyelet too that they give you, <laughs> look how cute and round it is on the front. Anyway, I'll make this into a tag, I probably should have cut it a tag shape first and then done that, but you know, just cut the sides and make a little tag so I don't waste that eyelet. But there it is guys, lots of fun to be had. <laughs> <laughs> let me know if you guys have this if you remember it if you remember what this is for maybe that's what this is for is like once you know you have it so big you can just use this to clean out but it doesn't go into like the small small ones or maybe it does oh it does oh see now we're in business I have no idea still what this one does it looks like it just I have no idea I don't say maybe it just does something flat but that doesn't make a lot of sense but there's that maybe you have to use this with the embossing no this isn't what is this what is this thing? It doesn't fit in here. It doesn't fit in there. It doesn't do much. It has nothing to do with these. Alright, well, there it is. Um, you know, it does what it needs to do, I think, other than that embossing, which is kind of a miserable failure, but um, super cute. And what's a bummer about that is like, I can never use these for any other reason. Like, what, how would you... Unless you hammer the back of it, I guess, and you have to be very careful. But um, other than that, I mean, it does its job kind of fun for the time not so much for nowadays but there it is and 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make a project with this. I just wanted to try it out again. Um, again, really nice, I think, for doing my traveler's notebook. So if you happen to see one on eBay or you see one at a yard sale and you want to grab it, it's going to do the job. Just not the embossing job. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.